Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amiya. In this session, we are going to discuss nothing but the answers and the solutions of the Chotu test of the number system question number 63273. As you know, that my life is there might be some problem in the audio. Sounds may kuch ho shakta hai problem ho. Awaaz kafi bhaari ho chuka mera. Anyway, so we are going to start the solutions and the answer. We need to find the remainder when the 17 factorial is divided by 289. So this is nothing but a Wilson theorem. Our question is 17 factorial divided by 17 square. So first of all, you must need to know when the 6 divided by 4, what would be the remainder. Okay, whenever we have anything common, that means 6 and 4, the HCF is nothing but 2. So we suggest take the 2 out. We'll get nothing but 3 divided by 2. So when we take the 2 out from 6 and 4, we have nothing but remainder divided by 3 by 2. So we have 3 remaining in the 2 and 2 remaining in the 4. So when 3 divided by 2, remainder is nothing but 1 and we have 2 out. So we need to multiply 2 again. So the answer is nothing but 2. So I'm just repeating what I said. Whenever you have anything common between the divisor and the dividend, Take that one out by the HCF. The remaining one, find the remainder and multiply the HCF out. Same, we have 17 factorial and 17 square. Take 17 out. You left with nothing but 16 factorial and divide by 17 need to find the remainder. By the Wilson theorem, we can say the remainder of this one is nothing but 16 and the HCF out should be multiplied. So the answer of this one is nothing but 17 into 16. And this one is quite easy if you know this concept HCF out. So our answer of this question is nothing but 272. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubt, I would say please rewind this concept. HCF out concept would help you in the Chinese remainder theorem 2. Okay. So I'll again say please bring your pen and paper and note down all the questions and solve all the questions because these are of utmost important. Okay. So answer of 64th question is 272. Take the 65th question. Among the options, which one is the largest? We know x raised to power 1 by x gives maximum value when the x belongs to E or x equal to E and the E is nothing but 2.71. That is the De Morphous theorem's E cos theta plus i sin theta. That is 2.71 or any value near to 2.71 would give the maximum. So we can easily say 100 raised to power 1 by 100, 200 raised to power 1 by 200, 300 raised to power 1 by 300 and 400 raised to power 1 by 400 is in the form of x plus 1 by x and the value would be the maximum if closer to e. So the closest value is this one. So this should be maximum. This should be minimum. If the quotient is this one, but we have minus. The meaning of the minus power is when we have a raised to power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by a. And we know if we have this one is the maximum and we do the reverse, we'll get the reverse answer. So the minimum value, which was 4 raised to power 1 by 4, becomes the maximum one. So answer of this one is the maximum due to x raised to power 1 by x condition and minus 1 as a power. So answer of this question is nothing but option number D, that is 400 raised to power minus 1 by 400. Now time for question number 66. Now, this one is the question of GIF. And we are looking for trailing zeros. Trailing zeros are mainly of the 5. So we need to check the 5. The most important is we are dividing by 4. So what it mean? When you get the first 5, you will get the first 5 in the 20 divided by 4. You will get the next 5 is 21 divided by 4. You will get the next 5 in the 22 divided by 4. You will get the next 5 in 23 divided by 4. So you will get the 5 4 times. So 20 to 23 you will get the 5 4 times. Okay, so you have 5 into 5 into 5. So you will get the 5 nothing but the 4 times. So I'm just writing 20 to 23, 5, 4 times. Okay, now when we'll get the 10, we'll get 10 nothing but 40 to 43, we'll get 10 and that to 4 times. So we are getting each and everything that to 4 times. So we have 5, 10 except the 50. We are getting 50 only 1 time. So 5, 10, 15 then 20, then 25. Why I am checking this one? We are finding 5, 10, 15 because these are the multiple of 5 up to 4. Each and everything 4 times, 4 times, 4 times, 4 times, 4 times, 4 times. What it means? Up to here, 
we have 4 times 5, 4 times 10, 4 times 15. So we have nothing but the total is nothing but 36. What I'm saying is we have 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 dot 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 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. So we are getting 4 5s here, 4 5s here. We have the 9 such bundles. So we have 36 but with condition applied. Right now we have 36. We have 25, 25, 25 and 25. Here we are getting 1, 1, 1, 1, 5 and 1, 1 extra 5. So we have plus 4, 5. So we have nothing but 40. But the remaining one is the 50. So we have calculated till 45 to 49. Okay, 45, 46, 47, 49. But in the 50, the last value, we have 50, which has two extra 5. So here we have 40 5s. And two extra five of the two hundred by four, so we have total nothing but forty plus two. That means forty-two zeros. All the trailing zeros in this series because we have lot of twos. So the answer of this question is nothing but forty-two. So okay, I know I am little bit faster, but you have to think because we are in up to the chotu test. We are not in the sessions like A B C read the A B C. You have to have work faster faster than what I am doing. This one is the easiest question you must know. Last two digit of the below calculation. So we are getting 100 factorial has a double zero. So we have to work on 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial up to 9 factorial. Add all. How you can add all? We have 1 factorial is nothing but 0, 1. 2 factorial is 0, 2. 3 factorial is 0, 6. 4 factorial is nothing but 2, 4. Just need to multiply the previous one by the 5. You will get 120 but write 20. Then multiply by 6, you will get nothing but again 20. 20 multiplied by 6 is again 20. Multiply by 7 is nothing but 40. Multiply by 8 is nothing but 20. Multiply by 9 is nothing but 80. When you add all, you will get nothing but last two digits as 13. So answer of this question is nothing but 13. So this is nothing but the calculation up to 9 factorial. Okay, this one is one of the best question of this 10 or 11 question series 19 factorial and you have nothing but n raised to power n so you need to find how many primes do we have like we have 2 3 5 7 11 13 i don't think we have to go up to 13 we know 2 raised to power what we have 45 then we have 22 then we have nothing but 11 a lot of power of 2 we have how many power of 30 do we have we have 30 divided by 9 then we have 10 then we have 3 then we have 4 1 so we have 44 powers. How many of the 5? We have nothing but 18, 3, 21, 5s. How many of the 7? 12 and 13 are the 7. 11 again we have I think 8 power. Then we have uh, 7, 91, 6 powers we have. So we have 7 raised to power 13. So we can make 7 raised to power 7 but we cannot make the next multiple of 7. That is 14 raised to power 14 because in the 14 raised to power 14 you have 2 raised to power 14 and 7 raised to power 14. 2 raised to power 14 is permissible but 7 raised to power 14 is not permissible. So we have 14 raised to power 14 is not permissible. So we out. Now need to work on the 5. We can work on a 10 raised to power 10 yes because in the 10 raised to power 10 we need 2, 10, 5, 10 permissible. 15 raised to power 15, yes, permissible because we need 3 raised to power 15, 5 raised to power 15. 20 raised to power 20, permissible. Why so? Because in 20 raised to power 20, we need 2 square into 5 raised to power 20. That means nothing but 2 raised to power 40 and 5 raised to power 20. 240 is permissible, but 540 is also permissible. But can we take the next power 25 raised to power 25? No. So till now we have 20 raised to power 20. Now we need to work on 3 raised to power 44. So we need to work on more than 20. Multiple of 3 is 24. Can we get 24 raised to power 24? Need to check. This one is 2 cube into 3 raised to power 24. This is 2 raised to power 72 into 3 raised to power 24. 3 raised to power 24 is permissible because we have 3 raised to power 44. 72 do we have yes we have more than 72 so the next value right now we have 2 raised to power 24 can we get the next multiple no we can't get the next multiple of 3 that is 27 can we get 27 raised to power 27 this is 3 raised to power cube and then we have 27 no this one is not can we get the next that is 30 
30 raised to power 13 no why it comes because it's multiple of 5 can we get the next multiple which has only 3 and 4 but 24 no we can't get what is the next power alone of 24 is 32 raised to power 32 this one is 2 5 raised to power 3 2 again not permissible so answer of this question is 24 raised to power 24 bit of hit and trial but intelligent hit and trial so answer of this question is 24 raised to power 24 i would say please pause the video watch the method and try to learn okay i hope this one is clear question number 69 sum of factorials of a digit of a number is number itself that means they are working on the factorials and you must know 145 is nothing but 1 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial either you must know this or you need to work on the a lot of calculation with hit and trial so we need to find uh, sum of digits so sum of digits is nothing but 10 so answer of this question is nothing but 10 Question number 70, divided by 24, 24 is nothing but 4 factorial. So we'll get the remainders after 4 factorials or remainders would be 0. We need to divide 1, 2, 6. So we need to divide by 9. We need to divide 9 by 24 and 9 is a small value. So the answer of this question is nothing but 9. Question number 71, the easiest one. We just need to divide the first and second power by 4. When you divide the first and second power by 4, you will get remainder nothing but minus 1 raised to power or that is nothing but minus 1 and 4 minus 1 is nothing but 3. So the first and second power give remainder 3. Bottom one is 7. 7 cube is nothing but 343. So this one is our answer. Our answer of this question is 3. And I know I am a bit faster because it's a test and your test is approaching. And if you think you need to work on slowly, Baba, please remember you are fighting with the cream. So you have to be cream, otherwise to gay calm se aap. So please start understanding my concept in my way. Agar aapko concept samaj mein nahi aara hai, doesn't mean ki aap beokoof ho. But agar aapko concept samaj mein aara hai, to it does definitely mean ki aap thore se upar ho, baaki beokoof ho se. Thikha? So please try to understand mein bolna kya chaaro. Definitely mein kar sakta tha ki aapko samjhaate huye isse solution do. But mein chaata hi nahi, to be very honest, because it's a test. Okay, anyway, question number 72. Again easy, you have 18 and the power is nothing but 19 into 20 into 21 and so on. And this power, if I divide 4, se divide karunga, to remainder 0 will We know 8 raised to power 4 ka multiple always 6 se end. Hota hai. So answer of this question is nothing but 6. Then last and the best question. We have to work on divisibility of 72, which one is nothing but 2 cube into 3 square. Okay. Take any number, I am taking just a first number that is nothing but 100 into 99 into 98 into 97. What it means, we have the four number and we know product of any four conjugative numbers must be divisible by 24. So it is divisible by 24, 2 cube into 3. So we have 2 cube in 72, 2 cube in this, only the missing thing is 3 or 9. So we need to work on the 9 thing. What do you mean by if you have the four conjugative numbers product which is everywhere which is everywhere in all the terms if you have the four conjugative product numbers you have two cube you have three you just want extra three so when you get the extra three since you have four numbers you want nine two cube you have when you want nine either this should be nine or multiple of nine either this should be nine or multiple of nine Either this should be 9 or multiple of 9. Either last term would be 9 or multiple of 9 or in any between you will get multiple of 3, 2 terms. Then 3 and 3 you will get the 9. So we need to work on how we will get the 9 by the product of 4 numbers. So we can say if I write 1, 2, 3, 4. We are not getting 9. We are getting only 3. So I don't want 1 here. What do we mean by 1 here? I don't want any terms which gives remainder 1 by the 9. Even I don't want 10 into 11 into 12 into 13. I'll get the 8. 2 cube to mujhe milega. That's why the 4 factorial. But I won't get the 9. So I don't want 9 plus 1. 9 and plus 1. 1 to chahi nahi. If you say 2, 3, 4, 5. You won't get the 9. So you won't want 9. 1. Aapko 1 nahi chahiye. You don't want 2, nahi chahiye. You have 3, 4, 5, 6, boss ye chahiye. Because we have 8, 3, 2, 3. 
मुझे थ्री चाहिए ही चाहिए आई होप ये क्लियर है डू यू वॉन्ट फोर फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन मुझे ये नहीं चाहिए आई डोंट वॉन्ट फोर डू यू वॉन्ट फाइव वी हैव फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ये भी नहीं चाहिए आई डोंट वॉन्ट फाइव डू यू वॉन्ट सिक्स एज अ फर्स्ट टर्म इफ यू से दिक्स एज अ फर्स्ट टर्म योर सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन डेफिनेटली चाहिए बिकॉज आपको नाइन मिल गया तो आपको सिक्स टर्म्स चाहिए What I what I am writing is 9k plus r का form with r इधर remainder. This could be six, this could be 15 भी हो सकता है 9 का remainder. We want seven, eight, nine. Nine is nothing but a remainder zero. One चाहिए because nine मिला है. <coughs> तो आगे सब कुछ चाहिए. मुझे यहाँ पे seven भी चाहिए. मुझे eight भी चाहिए. मुझे nine भी चाहिए. It means what? वन से लेके नाइन तक में आपको कितने number चाहिए? You want three as a first number. You want six as a first number. You want seven as a first number. You want eight as a first number. You want nine as a first number. तो इसका मतलब आपको nine के series में five numbers चाहिए. Which are those five numbers? अगर first number nine से divide होके either three दे or five or six दे or seven दे or eight दे आपका काम बन जाएगा या even nine से divide हो जाए तो भी काम बन जाएगा. तो one से nine bundle में five numbers चाहिए. तो what? 10 टू 18 में कितने चाहिए आपको 10 टू 18 में भी आपको 5 चाहिए और ऐसे कितने बंडल हैं 99 तक ऐसे कितने बंडल्स हैं 99 तक ऐसे 11 बंडल्स हैं 99 तक मुझे 55 नंबर्स ही चाहिए मैं फिर से समझाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कैन वी गेट 17 हियर यस 17, 18, 19, 20 डिवाइड होगा बिकॉज 17 को जब आप 9 से डिवाइड करते हो तो रिमाइंडर एट चाहिए और रिमाइंडर एट आपको मिल रहा है तो आप बस ओनली फर्स्ट डिजिट पे कंसेंट्रेट करो कि आपको क्या क्या चाहिए फर्स्ट डिजिट पे हमें ये चाहिए ये चाहिए ये चाहिए तो हमें क्या 55 नंबर्स चाहिए नाउ मुझे देखना है कि मैं जा कहाँ तक सकता हूँ मैं 100 तक जा सकता हूँ तो आपको बस एक सिंपल सा बात ये ध्यान रखना है कि 100 लास्ट होगा यहाँ नाइन्टी होगी यहाँ नाइन्टी होगा यहाँ नाइन्टी होगा तो लास्ट बंडल टिल सेवन जा रहा है तो 55 कब तक मिलेगा टिल 99 मैंने सोचा था बट मैं 99 तक नहीं जा सकता मैं 98 तक नहीं जा सकता मैं 97 तक ही जा सकता तो दो माइनस कर दूंगा आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इज 53 सो मैं जस्ट फर्स्ट नंबर के 9 पे रिमाइंडर काम कर रहा हूं व्हाई आई एम वर्किंग ऑन द 9 का रिमाइंडर बिकॉज टू क्यूब तो मुझे मिलेगा फोर के फैक्टोरियल में फोर कंजूटर नंबर शुड बी डिवाइड बाई फोर फैक्टोरियल डैट इज टू क्यूब तो मिलेगा मुझे नहीं मिल रहा है थ्री का बंडल डैट इज थ्री स्क्वायर मुझको चाहिए डैट इज नाइन सो दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ नाइन का रिमाइंडर एंड वन टू नाइन के बंडल्स में मैंने खोजा आई नीड थ्री सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एज अ फैक्टर्स मीन्स फाइव नंबर्स का बंडल्स मुझको चाहिए सो वन टू नाइन एंड टेन टू दिस वन मुझे चाहिए एलेवन बंडल्स थे तो एलेवन फाइव जब फिफ्टी फाइव होगा बट मुझको ये भी पता है डैट मीन्स द फ्रॉम द टॉप लेफ्ट मैंने राइट में जो लिखा है मैं नाइन्टी सेवन तक जा सकता हूँ मैं नाइन्टी एट और नाइन्टी नाइन को नहीं जा सकता तो मैंने टू माइनस कर दिया सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज नथिंग बट फिफ्टी थ्री इज द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन कैट लेवल जैट लेवल एंड दैट्स द क्वेश्चन वट आई वॉन्ट टू कम इन योर एग्जामिनेशन कि आपका कॉन्सेप्ट अच्छा हो तभी निकलेगा आई नो दिस वन इज बिट फास्टर दैन वट यू एक्सपेक्टेड बट what i am expecting from you is much bit faster what i am talking about so main aapse bas yahi bolna chahta hu mujhko pata hai ki bahut zyada fast maine solution diya bahut zyada fast hua but you are not starting aap ab start nahi kar rahe ho you are going towards the end and end pe agar aap daud nahi paate ho this is like a race na starting mein dheere dheere daudna start karte hain baad mein last lap mein hum log tez karte hain so this is the last lap of yours so be faster be a learner learn from everywhere and give your best so i hope it is okay with all best wishes myself from me god bless you thank you happy learning and bye bye hi guys do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss out any update